radiosilography, also called as radiosilography. It's nothing but radio radiographic examination of salivary glands as well as ductal system of salivary glands. It involves injection of small amount of contrasting media into the salivary duct of a particular gland followed by routine x-ray projections and the resultant image obtained is called as silogram. So let's see various silograms of normal as well as pathological conditions of salivary glands. So first starting with Jogren syndrome. So this is a silogram of Jogren syndrome where you can see punctuate cavitary defects filled with radio opaque contrast media. Let me just zoom in. So you can see here cherry blossom appearance. It's called a cherry blossom appearance because it resembles that of a cherry blossom tree. So we have various punctuate cavitary defects within this salivary gland which are filled with contrast media giving the appearance called as cherry blossom or branchless fruit laden tree. These terms are very important in entrance point of view. And now coming to another appearance, another silographic appearance, benign tumors usually have ball in hand appearance. Take for example a space occupying lesion or any mass which occupies the central portion or which is present adjacent to the salivary gland gives this kind of ball in hand appearance. So you can see the ducts are curved around the mass of the lesion. So you can see here a space occupying lesion, it can be a benign tumor. And you can see various ducts which are encircling this space occupying lesion giving a ball in hand appearance. So this is a schematic representation of ball in hand appearance. So even this is very important, right? And then we have normal appearance of or normal silographic appearances of various salivary glands, a tree limb pattern which is ductal filling of normal gland before SNR filling. So this is tree limb pattern. These two represent tree limb pattern. And once there is SNR filling, there will be bloom pattern, right? Bloom in the sense when the flowers bloom on a tree. So that kind of appearance occurs when there is SNR filling. So this is tree limb appearance. And normal submandibular silographic image has bush in winter appearance. So this is also very important. And then normal parotid gland silogram has tree in winter appearance. So bush in winter and tree in winter appearance are normal silographic images. And then we have another important silographic image that is sausage linked appearance. So it's seen in silodochitis. Silodochitis is nothing but as I said previously, itis means inflammation or infection. So silodochitis is inflammation of the ductal system of salivary gland. And there is dilatation and structure or constriction of main duct secondary to epithelial atrophy because of repeated inflammation or infection. As you can see in the image, there is dilatation of the salivary duct here whereas constriction in this portion and again dilatation in this portion. So this gives a sausage link appearance. The sausage is nothing but a food item which is made of pork and appears in this shape. So since this silographic image has a sausage shape and we have various sausages which seem to be linked, this appearance is called as sausage link appearance which is seen in silodochitis. <music>